How long does it take for Cialis 5 mg to start working for BPH symptoms? Hello everyone! Today we're going to be talking about Cialis 5 mg and its role in the treatment of benign prostatic hyperplasia, BPH, a condition characterized by an enlarged prostate. In particular, we'll focus on how long it usually takes for this medication to start working on BPH symptoms. The key aspect to remember here is that the time frame can vary between individuals, but we'll discuss the general average. What is Cialis 5 mg? Cialis, or Tadalafil, is a medication primarily used to treat erectile dysfunction and symptoms of BPH. In the case of BPH, Cialis works by relaxing the muscles in the bladder and prostate, thus reducing the urinary symptoms associated with the condition. It's important to note that Cialis doesn't shrink the prostate, but rather, it alleviates symptoms associated with BPH. How long does it take to start working? Typically, Cialis starts to work within 30 minutes to 2 hours after ingestion when used for erectile dysfunction. However, when it comes to relieving BPH symptoms, the timeline is somewhat different. The effects of Cialis on BPH symptoms aren't usually instantaneous. Studies suggest that it might take up to 1 to 2 weeks for individuals to notice a significant improvement in their symptoms. However, this can vary depending on the severity of your symptoms and your overall health condition. When should you take Cialis? Generally, you should take Cialis as directed by your healthcare provider. For the treatment of BPH symptoms, it's often recommended to take the medication once a day, at the same time each day. This continuous daily usage helps maintain a steady level of the medicine in your body, thereby helping to maintain symptom control. In conclusion, while Cialis 5 mg starts to work within 30 minutes to 2 hours for erectile dysfunction, it can take about 1 to 2 weeks for it to significantly improve BPH symptoms. Always remember to follow your healthcare provider's instructions when taking this medication, and make sure to report any side effects or lack of improvement in symptoms. We hope that this video has provided some useful information for you. Thanks for tuning in, and stay healthy!